Hello, my name is Roy Olson. I am a missionary to the nation of Romania, and I'm also your friend. Thank you for listening today. I'd like to speak to you about the love of God. The love of God, the song goes, is greater far than tongue or pen can ever tell. It reaches beyond the furthest star and reaches to the lowest hell. And in some ways that song is rather limited, in other ways highly accurate. When Jesus first began to speak about his Father, he spoke primarily of his love. In fact, the golden verse that we often use in evangelism is, For God so loved the world. In fact, the predominant um, aspect of our God the Father deity is exactly that love. It does it not say God is love? Whenever you encounter God, you encounter his love because that's an integral part of who God is and he has chosen to reveal himself to us as exactly that. God is love. Any encounter will, with God will be an encounter with his, his love. The love of God is the ultimate love. What is love? Love is the ultimate uh, spoken word that uh, speaks of a commitment, desire, uh, respect, uh, passion, all those words that uh, are the ultimate words for a relationship between two persons. Love. Uh, we say, I love my car. You really don't love your car. Uh, you love your wife with whom you drive in that car. You like your car. You appreciate your car. But you love your wife between two individuals. Jesus speaking about uh, the love of God. He spoke about the love of God the Father for himself, our Lord Jesus Christ. He, and he begins to explain, he says, as the Father hath loved me. Now, as the Father hath loved me indicates something of the, the depth of the love of God. There is no greater love than the love of God, and the love of God would therefore have to be infinite. In other words, without limitations, there is no barrier, there is no ultimate uh, ending of the love of God. And the word we use for that concept is infinite. And the duration of that love is eternal. God spoke to his people, he says, I have loved you with an everlasting or eternal love. The breadth, the scope, the length, the height of the love of God are all expressed in ultimate words. And Jesus said, that's the way the Father loved me. There is no greater love than the, God, the love of God the Father for God the Son. And Jesus goes on to say then, and in the same way, the same breadth, depth, height, uh, everlasting love that the Father loves him in exactly the same way he loves us. As the Father hath loved me, so in like manner I have loved you. Feeling unloved today? No. There is one who loves you beyond, deeper than any human being possibly can reach or attain to. The love of God, the expression of God for his Son, for his Spirit, and for us, his creation. And then Jesus goes on to say something very interesting. He says, now continue in my love. 
What does that mean? Well, it, 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 it would signify staying there, contemplating, growing in, meditating upon, thinking about, speaking about, just living in it as we would live in an atmosphere containing oxygen and carbon dioxide and nitrogen and the other elements of what we call air, as a fish would exist in water. Jesus is saying, live in my love. It's very easy to live in condemnation, in inferiority, in a sense of failure and, uh, and inadequacy. Jesus says, don't live there. You can visit there, but don't live there. Continue in my love. John, the great apostle, describes himself as the one whom Jesus loved. And no other apostle does that. And John, contemplating the, the depth, the height, the breadth, the intensity, the passion of the love of God for us, he, he exalts and says, behold, imagine, conceive if you can, behold what manner uh, of love the Father has loved us. Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us. Yes, that unimaginable, incredible, infinite, everlasting love, that's the love with which God loves us. The Apostle Paul when, when contemplating this and speaking about it, he says, I want you to know the love of Christ. But uh, here it is. But you really can't grasp it. It's too big. It's too broad. It's too intense. But you can grow in it. God never can love us with half or a little bit or more or less love because God never is less or more than he already is. In other words, when God shows up, and he does, he shows up with the fullness of the love that he has for his son because he has no other kind of love, no other measure of love. God will never diminish in love, neither will he ever grow in love. Jesus never said, I'm growing in love today. No, because he just loved with that eternal, infinite, passionate, indescribable love that only exists in God. And so Paul says, I want you to know the love of Christ with passes knowledge. You just can't grasp it. And throughout the ages of eternity, we'll still revel in that love. God never tires of loving the Son. The Son never tires of being loved by the Father. It's a pulsating, throbbing, ongoing, everlasting, never-ending kind of love that will satisfy the deepest yearnings of the human heart forever, and we can begin to experience it here and now. Will we grow in love? Yes, God doesn't grow in love, but we do grow in our experience, our understanding, our ability to receive that love. And indeed, we want to do that kind of growth. Well, just thinking about the love of God today and just want to say to you, God deeply, passionately loves you. And I pray that as you study, meditate, contemplate, read about you will experience more and more of that wonderful love of God. My name is Roy. I'm your friend. And until next time, God bless you richly. Goodbye. Goodbye.